Why did I make this thing so big? This is my battery, as you know, which is starting to really annoy me now because it's uh, cell number 9, uh, the voltage is going down, and cell number 10, the voltage is going up, which isn't very good because cell number 10 goes over voltage and it cuts the battery out, uh, the BMS cuts out, that's the reason why it's cutting out. Now I tested it. Um, I tested it the other day, and th there's fluctuations in the cell voltages by I think it's only 20, 20 millivolts or something like that. But that's enough. I think the BMS wires. Uh, I think that's where the problem lies. Um, so what I'm going to do? I'm going to strip it apart, obviously. But I think I may be taking the connectors out completely and hardwiring it in the hopes that I never have to take it apart again because believe me, it's, it, it, this takes about three hours to take it apart so I'm going to do that now This is about all I can show you, uh, purely because I now have to tip it onto this side here on the edge of the table because of the cabling, and then I have to slowly pull it apart bit by bit. Uh, take the BMS out because that's now free. Uh, just pull it out so I can get to the bolts. There's one. There's the one in there. No, there's one in there, and then there's one in there which hold the two halves together, and then I can split it. So, I can't show you anything at the minute. Uh, I think I might have to take these cables out completely this time, rather than just leaving them like that. Because I've got to look at both halves. I've got to take the inner casings off as well, so... hey -ho, I'll be back in a minute. I've got to the bottom of the problem. It's one of the balance wires, 100% definitely. Because, if I put that onto cell management here uh, I have got one cell number six drops down over a week to what 300 millivolts which is virtually nothing but what's happening is uh, on here where was cell number six we'll just do that one for reference this one this connector here is cell number six I know the alarm's going to go off but watch this Look at the voltage going. So cell number 6 goes to 5 volts. The next cell drops really, really low. So the problem... Why isn't the alarm? There you go. And I'll put it back in. And it all goes back to normal. Hang on, I'll wait for this alarm to stop. So what was happening was, on that uh, the last video, I don't know, I, I know, I probably only showed it to Patreon, but anyway, what happened was, is cell number 10 was becoming disconnected, and cell number 9 was going, was it cell number 9? Cell number 10 was becoming disconnected off the BMS, so cell number 9 voltage was completely dropping off, and cell number 10 was going over volt, or, you know, so that's exactly 100% what the problem is. Now to overcome that, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I still need connectors to get them to split the pack. At least if I hardwire this onto the BMS, because I think that's what the problem is, because these cables are so... Th 
they're, they're PVC cables and I hate them. I don't know why they don't use these. Um, what the f are they called? Silicon cables. Don't know why they don't use these silicon cables. Now, I'm pretty convinced that it is a connector. It is a connector issue because I touched it once and it went, it went haywire. But obviously these are no longer in the stress or the position that it was in when it was in the case. So I'm either going to replace these with silicon ones, hardwire them to the BMS. I don't know yet. The good thing about these BMSs is the good thing about these BMSs uh, because they're modular. There it is. You can take things off. I've got the connectors off. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of my don't know where it is at the minute. Uh, some of my silicon wire, and I'm going to I'm going to solder some um, fly leads on it. And so as I know damn well there's no chance of any bad connections or anything. And then I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to solder them direct on this side which is the left. Is that the left? Yeah that's the left. So I'm going to solder them directly on there like that. And then I'll have to have a plug, those two plugs there which will have to connect to that one. That one's already silicon. And I know that it's a connector, but I've got no choice because I've got to be able to separate these things if I need need to. So I'm going to put my fly leads on. Um, and what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm going to put my fly leads on. And I'll figure it out. I've soldered the uh, fly leads on. Done. So now I've got to figure out how I'm going to wire it up on there. But they're um, they're gonna go like that. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, God. What am I talking about? <laughs> I've soldered the fly flywheels. I've soldered the flywheels. <laughs> I've soldered the fly leads on. Uh, now I've got to get all those and. The first lot I've got to solder to that, and then I've got to put um, another lead, another connector on there, so as it goes over the other side, and then I can cut those and solder those directly to these, and then uh, yeah, it's just those leads, those two plugs. I need. I'll make some new plugs up, and I'll put them so as they'll go over to these here, and then jobs are good and. Um, I know these are only, I think it's about 26 IWG, which is plenty, it's only 200 milliamps, it's, you know, they don't, I've already tried them at full load and they don't even get warm, so it's fine. The first 10 of these, um, or is it 11, I think it's 11, I've got to go over to the left hand side, which are all those wires there, which you can't really see. And then the next ones are going to be on a connector, which will go to these here. So I can have the BMS. Oh no, the BMS is going over there. Oh shit. The BMS has got to go that side. So I need to put a connector on this side. So as I can connect it to that. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. The BMS is going to have to go over this side. This is only when I take it apart, it's not when it's actually together. Um, obviously when I do take it apart, I'll need to take, the, I'll put the BMS over one side or the other, you know what I mean. So that's, the first 10 are going to go to these leads direct. No, the first 10 of these are going to go over onto a plug to connect to these which I'm not using this plug, I'll put just a normal plug, one of these on, don't know yet. And then these, I'm going to cut them off and wire them direct so there's no chance of it coming off at all. So that's what I'm going to do now. Before I put it back together, uh, obviously these two connectors, they've gone. Uh, they've got the wires, the plugs, the cables and everything else. Where are they all? Oh, there they are. 
they've all gone. Um, I've hardwired it, and there is enough play so as I can get it back together. I hope. <laughs> uh, uh, <f> <laughs> I don't know what it is. I've got the giggles because I'm bloody nervous. It works. It comes on. It's fine. Where's my phone? Found it. Connect. What? Oh. I've only got, oof, that worried me, that's better, I haven't got the series connection on, I don't know what happens but, when I come in, all the cells are absolutely perfectly balanced, I mean, well, cell 20 is down by 1 millivolt, but, cell number 6 is always down by 2 or 3 millivolts, and it just sits there, and I don't quite understand why, how that's possible, I think there may be something to do with the sensing, the voltage sense, I don't know. And it can't be because it was the same on the other BMS. So what I've got to do, obviously I can't balance it yet because those res resistors are exposed and it's going to pop them as soon as I hit the button, so I'm not doing that. But it works, everything's fine. So now what I've got to do, I've got to put the plates back on. I've checked the batteries as much as I can without taking them all apart and everything seems fine. I've added some more neoprene on these pieces here because it's where the BMS sits. Uh, basically it was just held in with foam so hopefully it'll be a bit more robust now. So that's got to go, I've got to unplug that again. That's got to go in there, I've got to route those balance wires back there, that'll go in there like that after I've put the plates on and then I can put the two halves together I hope I don't know how I'm going to do it, I might have to tip the battery with this this side down I don't know, anyway I'm going to put the plate back on then put the battery back together I was going to show you this as well, this is my copper bus bar that I've glued onto this heat sink here with uh, where is it, where is it that stuff, which is heat sink plaster, it's heat sink adhesive, and then I've got my uh, uh, pad thing, whatever it is on there. That works fantastically, it keeps it a hell of a lot cooler and it dissipates the heat a hell of a lot better. So I've got to put that on there, obviously, like that. And then the BMS is going to go back in and I can assemble it. So if you want something, links in the description as it always is, uh, to the copper bus bar. Finished again. I'm pleased to say it's actually working this time. Da, da, da. I'm going to put two graphs on screen. One is the before and one is the after. So the after one is this that's running now. So I've got to process it first. You'll see that I've got a 3 millivolt difference and that's cell number 6 which is usual, I don't know why, but it's usual. So everything's running, it's balancing properly, there's no fluctuation. Ah, lovely. I'll piss off. I've still got to do something about these three, the, the battery connector number one, the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth module and also the buzzer because that's flapping in the breeze. I don't know where to put them. I may actually 3D print, print a holder that sits on here. Actually, that's a bloody good idea, that is, Tony. Well done. <laughs> you dickhead. So it's all secured. It's all ready for next week. Fingers crossed it's going to be nice weather again. <laughs> <laughs>